We are live. So um, hello, everyone. <laughs> um, Heidi here and my friend Tammy. And um, we are going to be talking all things paint party success. So welcome, Tammy. Thanks for being here and spending time with us. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Fun. I'm glad to be here. Um, so for all of y'all, I've been talking a lot about candy corn this week. Um, <laughs> this is the woman who sent me two five pound bags of candy corn. <laughs> This is the woman who I was, I, she sent me so much and I just kept eating it. Did you see me try to eat it when I had the resin on it? No, no. Oh my gosh. So we, we had some candy corn out because we're getting it ready. We're taking part of it as a decoration for part of Paint Party Business Live. And, um, and we had poured resin on it because me and you know pixie knew if i if it didn't have on i'd start eating it i guess we just did a little glaze so i put it in my mouth last night and started chewing i was like i'm gonna break a tooth i can't do that oh my god so yeah it was kind of crazy okay so let's get to you okay okay so how have paint parties changed your life you're a rock star you okay so before she starts she has taught so many paint parties um but first off tell us your business name and um how many paint parties do you think you have taught um, it's painting memories and my, my logo is, um, uh, it was on, it's on my shirt. I just, what? on my shirts <laughs> where painting is fun and memories are made. Oh, there we go. Got that's, it. that's, that's my slogan. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. So about how many parties, Tammy, do you think you've taught? Um, probably over 500. I don't really know. I've, I've been doing it for eight years and nine years. I don't even know how long I just, yeah. I've for a while. And, uh, yeah, with this thing, I, this slowed me down this year, but, um, I usually teach in between 10 to 15 parties, October, November, and December's all the October, November, and December's and 90% of my income from paint parties come in the last four months of the year. So That's amazing. And you're talking 10 to 15 parties a month, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much, it's pretty much, and I drive, I drive a lot too. So it's pretty much, I, I go to a party, drive an hour and a half to get there, hour and 20 minutes to get there, do my party, come home. The next day I'm sitting on my dining room floor, getting the other party ready for the day after that day. So it's like, so I've limited myself to 10. I'm already full in October. So awesome, y'all. Okay, so she's being very humble right now because she is a go getter. And um, the thing I love about Tammy, that especially this year, what I've noticed you've done is you are making time to have fun. And that, like, y'all, I'm telling you, like, let us know in the comments if you're trying to um, build this paint party business, but you've just literally been like, you know just buried in it and you're just, you know, frustrated and overwhelmed. And the thing I've noticed with Tammy lately is she is scheduling time to have fun. And um, I think that's the biggest thing. So can you share or elaborate a little bit on what you're doing to balance? I mean, if you're doing 10 to 15 parties a month, what are you doing to balance that to have some fun? Um, scheduling, saying no, that's that, that was the biggest thing this year. It was, can you do it on this date? I always said, yes. Can you do it on this date? Always said yes. And sometimes I would have five parties in a, in a row and they're going like an hour North and half hour this way. And I I'm, I'm all over the place. And, um, I about fell asleep last year in December driving home. Gosh. And I think that that was my epiphany. <laughs> it's like, You're way back. That was on my sixth day. I had six classes in a row and they were north, south, west, east. They were just mm -hmm. everywhere. I had one close party in the midst of that. And that was because I didn't say no. Mm -hmm. And here with my hand, I'm giving myself a break. With this year also, I scheduled time to go to see the Shinkati ponies. Oh my God. I was in love the wild ponies in Virginia with my sisters. So we did a sister trip. We always do a sister trip every year and oh, awesome. waiting for my schedule. And this year we just, I booked everything around it. I also went to the diverse woodworking. I went to that never been. I went to, um, I went to uh, last year's September thing with you mm -hmm. and that all paid for through paint parties, all of it. And even 
gifts that I bought. I mean, everything was paid through paint parties. So what I have finally recognized that I do need to do, I could do 30 parties a month. I mean, I, I seriously could book 30 parties a month. And I've finally realized after Heidi being on me for four years or three years or however long I know, I've known you, um, that you do have to schedule time for yourself. You do have to take some time off. So it, yeah. And, and it, and it just, yeah. But the paint party business is amazing. It is amazing. I paid off $40,000 in rolling debt, a 25 year rolling debt. I literally paid it off in three years with wow. party money. 45,000? So, 40,000, 40,000, three years I had for 25 years that I rolled that what I mean by rolled is I put it on a charge card that had no interest of charge card that had no interest. Mm -hmm. I just kept rolling it and rolling. I never made it anywhere. And then I did paint parties and it was like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. 1200 bucks for that night. That's pretty awesome. So. I know. When people think like we have this cute paint party business, I'm like, it's cute. I get it. But I, it is serious money. I mean, serious money. And I am so proud of you, not only for being able to pay off that debt, but also um, recognizing that you have to have time because I the reason I I talk about that so much is because there was a period of my um, building my business that I was just like this. And there were a lot of things that I missed out on. There were a lot of, you know, family things I missed out on. There were a lot of things with Pixie that I sacrificed. And, and there's a lot of stuff like that. We don't get back, you know, and I, I just want to be like, okay, here's the mistakes I've made. Please don't make these same mistakes. Make sure you go have time and play with ponies and have fun with your sister, you know, and all of that cool stuff. So I want y'all to know, and we have some questions for you. So, um, so we have someone praying for your wellness so I can hopefully get started. Oh, that's awesome. And then also, do you, um, they want to know, do you do these parties alone or do you have help? Okay. So I always have cut myself off at 50. Okay. 50 people. And I have a loud, caring voice. I've taught in every part of my businesses that I've had. So I can control the room. And I never paint while I'm there. I know that sounds very strange, but no, not to me. <laughs> uh, when you have a large group, I'll show them a step, but I am constantly, I think I walk out on my ticker. I usually walk 10,000 steps, which wow. is two and a half miles in, in a large party. So, which I thought was pretty cool because I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I'd actually walk that much. I felt like I walked that much. I call it, I call it the paint party workout. Yeah, I get it, my paint party workout while I'm <laughs> teaching you know, my paint party. It really, it really is. And so I got to the point where I met Jamie Norville and now we're really good friends and she will come up she will drive up and I'll pay her to help me at some of the larger parties that I know, like a ceramic party that has more than just the painting steps. It has the sealer, it has this, and it's a lot of setup setups. Mm -hmm. ceramics. So I have gotten to that point to say, I can't do it all. So, and I just need help setting up. I need help. Just, I man the room, but I just, yeah, it's nice to have the setup help, the drop down help. And if you can have a helper and you're just, just starting out, even with 10 people, if you are just starting out, just get a daughter or some, like, like Heidi has had her daughter since she was five helping. <laughs> and it's like, what, what is she 17 now? She's 16 and Pixie has been helping since she was five. And she yeah. actually, I mean, even when she was three helping with the surfboard business and um, she would just kind of come up there and like, put paint all over the board and then we'd send her off with the grandparent. But 
But now, you know, I remember her, I used to bring these Hershey Kisses to all my paint parties. And so they'd sign in and they'd be able to grab a Hershey Kiss if they wanted. And Pixie loved those. And so she would um, she would run around the room. We'd have these big old paint parties. She'd run around the room, grab a Hershey Kiss, and she'd stuff her cheeks like a little squirrel. And then she would like run around and put paint brushes in random places. And I'm like, if I just keep at her, I know she's going to be good. And, and <laughs> she just kept at it. You know, we had a whole little system. And and so, yeah, always get help. And I love that Jamie, um, and she's a fellow PPHQ member. Um, I love that y'all are collaborating like that. And now y'all are good friends and she drives to help you. Like, that's another thing that I really appreciate about you is you're not like sitting here going, okay, I can only work in my 10 mile radius. Like okay. you have, you're like, I am like, okay, if I need to drive three States away and there's enough people and it makes sense. Yeah. Like, I do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll drive. I mean, I'm in Ohio and most of the, everywhere that I drive is within two hours. And I, as long as they have a big party, then I'll drive wherever and I'll just spend the night, you know, I'll just stay at the hotel and come home the next day. Um, but yeah, I love doing, I love doing the big parties. I do and, too. Yeah. So it's, it's so fun. fun. And so fun. If, you have not joined PPHQ, I will say she's the bomb. So uh -huh. it will definitely help you. Um, I, I will admit right now that I have a lot of my own designs and I've always come up with my own designs and she has so much more that if you can't think of something right off the bat, you have all these designs that are in her uh, portfolio that you can grab and go make money off of. If you do not have, I have, I don't even know. I didn't, I don't even want to count. There's <laughs> 150 paintings behind me because I refuse to paint over them. So <laughs> I, I'm serious. Look. Oh my gosh. Do you ever purge them? Do you ever, cause I have to purge about every six months. I don't, I oh, don't, man. I uh -huh. should. Or, or I, I might take one of my paintings and like kind of change it, uh -huh. you know, just to update it from five years ago. But I mean, a lot of my paintings and, and I'll knock on wood have done very well. And I've, I'm running, I'm running a, one that I painted six years ago mm -hmm. and it, the class is almost full again. So there are some that will just, you'll paint and it, it'll just go and go and go just like you brought back, which would be crazy you know, for the, for the, the launch. The ball, yeah. Yeah. So for the fall ball, it's because it's popular. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of them that I like that I. Well, can... and you don't have to have like, I mean, so many people think, and, and we have, I mean, we have a lookbook that has tons of paintings in it. That's but, great. But you don't have to have 5,000 options for you to make a great living at paint parties. So um, we have a couple of questions for you. Um, one of the questions for you is from Kiwanis. She asked, where is she booking most of her parties? At restaurants or where? Okay. Wineries. That's the first thing that I said this year as soon, or last year, as soon as we opened up in June, I started contacting wineries. I just went to Facebook, wineries near me. And then I started picking and picking and picking and picking. And I do it. I do something different. I don't, as long as I get $35, I'm good. I, I mean, I get $35 for my regular canvas paintings. I add $10, which I hope none of my people that are going to this hear me say, I add $10. Well, they know. I mean, that's the way it has to work. You know, yeah. or you wouldn't have a location. Yeah, that's right. So I add $10 to the ticket price. So I make the ticket price 45, but then in return, I have the wineries give them a glass of wine or a flight or a wine slushy. And it, it has worked really, really well. I mean, it wor works. At, I do it at restaurants. I do it at wineries, anywhere that they sell drinks. Mm -hmm. I, I will up it 10 bucks. There are some places that it's just $10 rent. $10 a person rent. And as long as I'm getting my 50 people good with that, if I only have 10, I, I, that, that's the kind of a wash thing, but I always, always push to get a lot of people in my parties a lot. 
Yeah. And I think that's really smart of you too, to work with wineries and then to really fill those spots. And um, that's the thing I really want to encourage all of you listening is make sure you're not trying to book like 10 places in town and now you're spreading your marketing efforts all over the place. Um, you know, private parties are great, but if you can like work with one or two places and just really pack out those places. Um, and that's one of the questions I wanted to ask you because you are so good at getting butts in the seat and having these bigger parties. I know everybody's like, wait, I don't ever want to do a per you know, a 50 person party. We're not saying you have to. I know a lot of we have, I think we have a new hashtag, like hashtag Tammy goals now. And <laughs> because everybody wants to be Tammy. <laughs> hashtag Tammy goals. We're going to start it. We're going to start it. Hashtag Tammy goals. But, um, but seriously, not everybody wants to do parties of 50. Um, but for those of you that are just struggling, you're like, I just want to get eight people at my party. Like, I mean, we have zillions of tips inside of Paint Party Headquarters. But what's like maybe two top tips you could give here for people? The number one tip absolutely number one tip is when you are looking these wineries up or the restaurants on facebook one check check to see how many people are following them if they only have like 500 people following them they might be new they might be a new winery and i did there was one that only had like 500 but when i talked to her she said we've only been open a year so and i book probably i don't know eight parties a year with her and they're always 50. We always get them up to 50. That's so, um, and that was somebody that didn't have a file following. So look at how many people they're have that have them bleh, that is following that them. are following yeah. them. Yeah. That are following them. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get it. <laughs> and the second thing is look and see if they're posting on their page. They might have 15,000 people following them. But if they're not posting on their page, their page is cold and they aren't going to post for you. You need to find the people that are posting daily. Every single day they're posting something. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that you want to talk to. And when you first approach them, you need to tell them right off the bat, this is how I can make you money. And that makes them listen. If you don't say that they're going to make all this money, I mean, this, this lady, she has two full, she's going to make a thousand dollars off of me in, in November and December. She's making a thousand dollars. Plus so, people are ordering more food and drinks. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. And, and she, and, and she loves it. And then there's some that won't work with you. So you need to find the ones that will work with you and have them post on their page, not to share it, post it on their page when you ask them to. If they follow that rule, they will make money. They'll make $10 a person. They don't, it doesn't cost them $10 to give them a glass of wine. I'm, I've been in the restaurant business and they're making money off of that. So I feel my class is doing that and it, it works. It works. So, and I do it with, I do it with every, every place that sells uh, alcohol. Yeah. I know it awful and they can just get a coke i mean i don't push them to drink but if drinkers which 90 percent of them are when they go to a winery um they make a lot of more a lot more money off their wine sales right. so yeah and if they sell food definitely yeah. definitely that's what i do why i do it for the restaurants because sometimes the restaurants you can bring 30 people in and you usually do your class at six you know six to nine you book at six to nine and they've already eaten mm -hmm. so Waitress isn't getting anything. They're only ordering a pop or a glass of wine or something like that. So right off the bat, if I have 50 people, that restaurant's getting 500 bucks right off the bat. So, so I have a very important um, question. So you just called a Coke a pop. <laughs> I get you on the soda the other day. I was going to, I was going to text you and say, you say soda, I say pop. I know. I say either it's a Coke, like even this is a Coke, like it's a root beer, but it, we call it a Coke. That's a root beer. Like, do you have a soda or a Coke? We never say pop. And so pop. it's so funny whenever I hear people, cause we just, it's so weird. Like we're all like, I don't know. It's just so fun. Um, my sister, she lives in New Hampshire. They call it soda. Do so they? Must be an Ohio to Florida thing because everybody says pop. Yeah. So. 
Let us know in the comments. These are, yeah. Oh, someone's, <laughs> and one of the people says drink. I just say drink. <laughs> um, okay, here's a great question I'll let you answer. Um, somebody's asking, do you need a mic in a restaurant setting? I do not because I talk extremely loud. <laughs> when, I, when, I'm, I, when I'm controlling the party, she gives you a good, I watched your live just, I think it was, was it today? Yeah, it was today that you were telling about the the freeze yeah how to handle a crowd mm -hmm. yeah and i just i just let them know off the bat if i'm speaking guys you got to pay attention to me you know because i'm i am just i'm one of the guys you know i'm just one of the the people there mm -hmm. and they have a lot of fun i've made so many great friends i have i have groupies that that come mm -hmm. to parties that i'm so excited oh, look i have goosebumps because i get to see them in two weeks oh so, yeah and they're they're great and and the word of mouth is phenomenal word of mouth is phenomenal and um oh i almost teared up i get to see them i haven't seen them for a year oh well, they're, they're so fun funny thing is they get so drunk oh. and, and they get so lovey and it's like they're hugging me and they're all over me and they're like, oh, we love you. We're groupies. <sighs> they're so funny. They're just so funny. Sorry. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, too, to talk about. Like, I know sometimes like I've had people ask me, they're like, well, I want to get into this business, but is everybody going to be drinking? And I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's not always the case. Like not everybody drinks at these. And we're having a full on in the chat. There's a full on soda versus pop going on right now. <laughs> just, just so you know, it's like, it's like a, a 50, 50 here. Yeah. Pat is with me. She says in Georgia, it's Coke. <laughs> um, that's so funny. But yeah, I do want to say, I do want to speak to the fact, first off, like not all paint parties even have, um, you know, alcohol at them at all. Like I've taught at tons of places where people will literally order a tea and um, you do want to set the, that all of y'all that are out there and you're doing these at restaurants, you do want to make sure like it's our job to be like, Hey, you know, we, you know, we start at six 30, make sure you come early and order food and drinks, because if they're ordering food and drinks, that restaurant person is going to want you back for sure. Um, and then also um, let's speak to the fact, cause I know you got goosebumps and you almost teared up. And um, so I know we talk about like, this is making money, right? Like you can make a lot of money. I mean, you literally paid off $40,000 in debt through your paint parties, but it's more than just about making money. It's about like being excited about something, getting to go see friends you haven't seen in a year. Like there's this whole other element to paint parties that I get so happy about. And so do you want to talk a little bit about why that means so much to you? I just enjoy making people happy. I, I have always made my mom laugh my whole entire life. She just cracks up at me. So I was like out of five girls, I was the jokester and I love teaching. I love being around people. I love, I love, hold on. Why are you doing this to me? We love you, Tammy. Hold on a second. The big, the biggest thing that I enjoy with my paint parties is the person that comes in or all of them come in and say, oh my God, mine's not going to look like that. Oh my God. I can't even draw a stick figure. I don't even know how many times I've heard. I can't draw a straight line. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they get emotional at the end, which gives me goosebumps even talking about it because I taught them in a way that they could reproduce something that they never ever thought that they could and it's just my happy place and they leave ecstatic they i mean i i would say probably most of my people are are like my repeaters i mean i probably have 80 percent, 90 percent repeaters and i i can't remember all their names because they come to so many of my parties but I recognize their faces and I hug them all. And, you know, it's just, it's just so, I, it's just so fun. And with this thing, I am missing them so bad. Yeah. Um, 
Um, well, I, my first one's next week, so I'm going to be good. <laughs> you have help with that one, so you can kind of rest that arm. Cool, and it's a private party, and she's going to help me. Oh, so, good. Yeah, good. I have oh. a 30 person so far on the first. So if I'm still in the cast, yeah, I'm going to have to find somebody to help. Just yeah, me. I would find somebody to help anyway, just because you can, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, and just because you can do it, even with your cast, like I would just, instead of re-hurting it or re-injuring it, it'd probably be safer just to have somebody. Plus, I'm always looking out for you because I want you to get better and then, you know, be able to heal faster. But I think, um, I think like as you're talking about like the joy you have from like seeing them at, you know, the paint parties and doing stuff that they love what I, okay. So I, I know this sounds so weird, but I feel like you said, like, it's my happy place. Like, I don't know if you feel this way, Tammy, but like when I am in the middle of a room teaching, I mean, if it's 10 people, 50 people, 200 people, like, I feel like that was what I was made to do. It's this weird feeling of like, no, nope. exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I feel like I'm a better person when I'm out there doing that. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's how I feel. I think, I think that most, most people like us that go and teach and we've been teaching and we enjoy the teaching that pours through us to them. And they, I, God, you're choking me up, man. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Usually, usually super strong and blah, blah, blah. Um, no, it's just, it's just, it's such a, it's, it's such a wonderful feeling to, to be able to do what you love, which I absolutely love to paint. I love to sculpt. I love to do everything, anything artsy, but um, to love doing your job, get paid extremely overpaid, as you were saying the other day. Um, most people will get to that point. You just have to give it time. Um, and just enjoy the whole entire time. I mean, just take it all in. Yeah. It, it, I take it all in. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I love it. I love it. Y'all, if you are teaching paint parties, um, please make sure you, um, let us know in the comments if you have that same feeling like me and Tammy do, like, when we're teaching a paint party, I mean, we're in our happy place. And I know, you know, um, you know, Tammy's in a position where she doesn't have to teach 10 plus paint parties a month. She doesn't have to, but she wants to, and she loves it so much. And she has big goals and big dreams for, for what she wants out of life. And I think a lot of us are in that situation where, you know, at the beginning, we may have started this as a side hustle of like, I needed the extra money. Like in my case, I just needed extra money to, to pay for groceries and to pay for bills. And now it's like, yeah, I want to book it because I know I'm a better person when I am teaching a paint party. I feel like a better person. I'm in my zone and in my happy place. And so um, I still today book parties <laughs> and I, I just love it. Like Bobby's like, why are you still booking them? I'm like, I'm trying to not book as many, but I still got to do it. Cause I love it. Like I absolutely love it. So much fun. So let's go ahead and um, close with, we have a lot of people asking questions and some fun stuff. We'll try to go back through and answer some of these. Um, but Let's close, Tammy, with um, first off, remind people where they can find you and follow you. And then if you'll just share um, maybe one last um, tip that you could give somebody who's just now starting this, what they could do to overcome some of their fears. Oh, OK. Um, it's Painting Memories. And it's just like it says, Painting Memories. Um, it's on Facebook, uh, PaintingMemories.net. And that's my website. Um, my biggest tip would be don't, don't, I think a lot of people, when they see people that have been doing it for a long time, that have a following that, you know, I'll sit, I'll throw a 50 person picture on, on paint party headquarters and they're not all, all 50. And sometimes I have to cancel, you know, I, I do have a kind of a rule that, you know, I'm, I, I expect I need 10 because I drive an hour and 40 minutes to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, I always require at least 10. So, and, and especially if I'm doing a fundraiser, because I give $10 of that back every, every fundraiser. So I, I require at least 10. 
and I have some that, that only can get four. So I have to cancel the party. So just because I would be posting like a mad woman right now, if I had my parties booked, um, on PPHQ and you, you can follow me doing that, but don't expect too much too quick mm -hmm. because a lot of times what people will do, they'll say, Oh, I only got five. Oh, I only got eight, but you got eight new people that don't know you that are going to enjoy your party, going to learn how to paint. And those eight people are going to tell 10 of their friends, you know, so you have 80 people right now that know about you. And until you get your following built, I, I see a lot of posts on PPHQ that they're they're disappointed that they're they had a party cancel or they're disappointed because they only got 12. You didn't only got to get 12, you got 12 people. And that's what you look at it as. You got 12 new faces that are gonna tell 10 people each. That's 120 new faces. So you just keep doing that and you'll have the following and you'll be able to get the butts in the seats really, really quickly. But I mean, I, when I first started, I had 10, you know, it's one I had five when I first started, but then I started requiring 10. Then it took me about four years, you know, to start getting 20 and 30. And now I'm, I'm booking 30 to 50. And that's because those same people told people and told people and told people mm -hmm. it really is a word of mouth business. I mean, yeah. it, so don't get discouraged with yourself. If you're just starting out, if you can just do five, do five, five times 35 is what half a 175 bucks. So yeah. Five, Trying to do the math and it's not. Yeah, like well, <laughs> well, I had to do half of 350. <laughs> well, and I was going to tell you all, um, canceled parties is a part of the business. I yeah. mean, that's normal. Um, and then also I have actually done a party of two. And when I was very first starting way back in the day, I mean, I've been doing paint parties for 16 plus years now. And um, I remember there was this party of two and it was kind of like a date night for this couple. And um, I could not find anyone to watch Pixie and I had to bring her. And I remember just being like, oh my gosh, this is not professional. And it was kind of awkward because there was only two of them and they weren't talking and I was trying to watch my, I mean, it was all, it was a whole, I have so many stories I could tell y'all of failed paint parties. But, um, but what I'm saying is I've also had like a party of four that was one of my biggest, like I say, small parties lead to big opportunities. Yeah. And one of those ladies hired me for a private event. They tipped me $75 on top of their party. Nice. Then they have gone to like many of my restaurant open parties. So like, just because you have a small party, never miss the impact that you might have on that one person that yep. showed up at your party, just looking for some healing, looking for an outlet. Maybe they had something really horrible just recently happen in, your, in their life. And how could you be there for them? So instead of being like, eh, it's only eight people, just be like, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, there's eight people that want to paint with me. Let's have some fun and let's do something really cool. So I think it's all about and um, perspective and it's all about realizing like you can't compare somebody's chapter 50 to your chapter one yeah. obviously tammy is you know a way ahead of the game with a lot of people in the paint party business but you can't compare if you're just starting out all you can do is hashtag tammy goals and start trying to head towards it <laughs> i'm gonna get that going <laughs> oh tammy i'm so happy you were here thanks for taking out time and again okay. make sure y'all go follow her where do you want them to follow you at it's painting memories and it's a pick my mom and I painting memories. If you want to find out more and thank you, Tammy, for being here and anyone else, if you're interested in learning more about paint parties and there should be a link in the description and we would love to help you out. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye y'all. <laughs>